Hi Chris, hi Randall, it's Alan. It is October 14th and today is Science Friday. Today's side fry is going to be on this stuff. Cafe. This stuff is weak. Very weak. I don't know what you're talking about. I say, say la vie. Let her be a lesbian. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's missing. Happy holidays. Okay. First of all, let's start with the uh, obvious. <clears throat> of course, coffee has caffeine in it. It's too disgusting for me to not want decaf. It has to serve the caffeine purpose to it. But then again, for me, the stronger it is, the here it is, which is a strange neurochemical thing with the taste buds as well. Ah. Of course, caffeine helps you wake up. Uh, that's its main thing, helping you wake up. But there are also... Uh, neurochemical and neurophysical reports of caffeine helping uh, curb the effects of uh, neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, uh, schizophrenia, stuff of that nature. So, if those reports look to be as correct as neurologists make them out to be. We have a reason. We have an actual good reason to be addicted to caffeine. So, An apparently uh, little known fact about caffeine is that it is it falls under the definition of a drug. It is, in actuality, a drug. And the reason why I say that is because the legal definition of a drug is a uh, behavior modifying, mind altering substance that is not required for the survival of the human body. And caffeine is not necessary for my survival. Uh, I am addicted to caffeine. Oh, by the way, that's the other part of the definition of a drug. It is, it has the, po it has a high potential of being addictive. Um, but yeah, I am addicted to caffeine. I don't need it for my own survival. It alters my mind. It alters my behavior. So, it is a drug. Because you take this away from me and I will likely, well, not murder you, but make you wish I had. <laughs> Okay, uh, chemically how caffeine works, it doesn't go straight to the brain. No. What happens is it chemically reacts in the digestive system, goes to the bloodstream, chemically reacts with other stuff there, goes to the liver, chemically reacts some more, and then the resultant chemicals go to the brain. Of course, this takes a while. But, uh, you may be asking yourself why it has such an, um, an immediate effect. 
Um, thing is, woo. Thing is, uh, there is a certain placebo effect to it. Uh, I mean, there's real effects as well, but the real effects happen later on. The placebo effect is what uh, gives us the immediate satisfaction. We think it has uh, immediate consequences up here in the brain, and that believing we do, uh, it does, manifests itself by, well, coming true. It's like, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy thing. That, that, that's really the main thing about the placebo effect, the self-fulfilling prophecy thing. Only, in this case, it's uh, so every day that we don't think about it that way. Mm. When you uh, drink the coffee, you are not drinking the entire stuff that makes the bean. Of course, you're only drinking the stuff that is chemically water soluble. So, you know, uh, well, unless you're like sitting there, like <laughs> scooping the uh, used grounds and eating that for breakfast, which is weird. But I know a guy. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Little did he know when I saw him eat it, is that coffee also, little known fact, also happens to be a laxative. So the stronger your coffee is, the sooner and more intensely you're going to have to take a shit. So there you have it. If you don't want to have the risk of going in your pants, it would behoove you to not drink epically strong coffee. Like I do every morning. I should probably weaken up my uh, coffee in the morning. Eh. It's one of those things you don't really think about it until you say it. <laughs> So, mm. the mechanism for the laxative properties of coffee is uh, when it gets to the liver, the liver itself needs to do so much work so quickly that biomechanically, your cone's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This is, a lot of stuff is coming. Let's release, let us release. And therefore, it releases. Uh, that's all I can think about on coffee. Um, if you find anything I've missed, uh, scientifically, uh, leave a comment. If you have any ideas on topics for future Science Fridays, please leave a comment. Um, if... Uh, you have any comments on anything else? Leave a comment. Do do do. Alright, Chris, I will see you on Monday. Randall, I'll see you on Tuesday. This is Alan, the Avery, signing out. DFTBA. Whoa, hey, yeah, duh. Okay, let me change that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Changing. Do, do, do. Backlight cup. Brightness. That's definitely going to have to go way the fuck down. There we go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, shiny. No, 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 wrong direction. Let's see. There we go.
Hey Chris, hey Randall, it's Alan. Well, and today is October 14th and it is... Uh, blurred. Hi Chris, hi Randall, it's Alan. Today is the 14th of October. <laughs> 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 